ChairShot Reality on WrestleZone.com. Check it out on YouTube. You can also now go to iTunes, the entire CSR Wrestling channel on iTunes. Make sure you go uh, rate it. Leave some comments on how it gets us up. Maybe not rate it if it's a low rating. We don't want low ratings. Well, give us Lie. a nice rating. Lie and give us good ratings. Eisenberg yeah. Labar kicking off a big weekend of wrestling talk here on Chair Shot Reality. We're going to start, Josh, just covering some of the basic headlines, many of them comical. And it starts with Marty Janetti, who, of course, was mentioned by Stephanie uh, in the only vein that you can mention Marty Janetti. Because he was, you know, the other guy. And apparently he got really mad about that. And then he went on a Facebook. He's like, he's like, don't be mentioning my name. Don't be talking about me. We don't want to talk about how all those kids might not be hunters. Listen, what? Listen, bro. If you're that sensitive that a little comment like that is going to really tick you off, just stop talking. Like, go go somewhere in, in New Mexico with you know, Breaking Bad crew. Everybody. Nobody wants to see you. Get away from us. Marty Janetti is as irrelevant as Jim Cornette right now. Well, well, Marty Janae. Ah, Marty, yeah, Marty Mar- Janae is a waste. Like, Marty this is ridiculous. Marty should be happy he this got ridiculous. in front of 5 million people. He might and, be able to get an extra 20 And here's bucks. the funny thing is, not many people know that name that was in the live crowd. He might That's be. That's the problem that WWE has right now with him. Well, Janae might be able to get an extra 20 bucks uh, out of his booking fee this weekend because he just got mentioned on Raw. So. Hey, you know hey. what? I, have, uh, I don't want to mention these names. We're going to have to bring it up. Rebby Sky, Awesome Kong, Confrontation Backstage, where Kong was actually sent home from TNA's tour of the UK. This, uh, I'm not surprised by this. You know, I, you know, I've got to interview uh, Awesome Kong. I think she's awesome. Rebby Sky, we've gotten to know through Matt. You know, I, I can say this. I can remember a conversation having in the car. Rebby definitely does not put up with the, if you get territorial in the locker room, if you try to be like an undertaker in your locker room and like, you know, play the, the bully card. Not saying Awesome Kong bullied. I don't know the story. All I know is what we've all read. Uh, so I don't know who's in the right, who's in the wrong, whatever. But it's an unfortunate situation because both have something to offer to that promotion. So the fact that anybody had to get sent home, uh, unfortunate. But I was not surprised well, when I heard this. They had beef in 2013, and they're, you know, they still haven't squashed that beef, Justin. They had this beef, and it's been brewing, it's been marinating. And quite frankly, in 2013, 2016, I think there's obviously a little bit more than just one incident that happened. You look, Sunny. You're thinking of beef, aren't you? Uh, speaking of beef. Speaking of beef. Speaking of beef. Sunny. Finally, the it's long awaited the original diva, as many call her in the '90s. Sunny, her porn yeah. came out this past Sunny week. Sunny side up. Now, of course, she's not the first diva to have done some adult film. China, of course, famously uh, did some years ago. And Sunny, of course, admitting that China would beat her ass in the ring, but she wants to challenge China. To a sex off. I'm really, uh, I, I really think that Point Park is so happy we're talking about this here. But I will say this: Have you I'm watched? The have one. you watched the Sunny video? I have not. You have you. So full of it. Absolutely. I've been too busy. I, I saw a two-minute trailer. Anyway, I saw the trailer. Does anybody want to see this? They're like 45-year-old middle-aged, over-the-hill women. There's a fetish for that. They're, yeah, I mean, but you have to be attractive to have that fetish, right? You can't. I guess there's a fetish. You for can't tell me if you're days. a kid that grew up watching Sunny that you're not at the least bit curious. I mean. Example A, I was curious, I was like, eh, pause, turned it off, and then went back to my eh. ori- original programming. What was the original program? I don't want to talk to you about my original programming. I was watching us. How about that? Number one procrastination That's tool. Really You've weird. talked about that for such a long time. That's really You've weird. compared us to porn since episode one. I've said we're... Uh, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. And finally, the anniversary of one of the most prestigious, phenomenal, fantastic, over-the-top, groundbreaking sport program the xfl 15 years justin 15 it does not feel like it's wow. been 15 years i'll does tell you not. this I, I what i hate is i hate the fact that you know again it's kind of like that same thing where people bash pro wrestling you know, because it's fake and they don't know what the, what they're so- talking about i hate the fact that people will use the xfl as a punchline yes it only it only lasted one year yes vince lost like 69 million dollars in it but what you have to remember the xfl is very innovative the xfl is it, because of the NX, xfl that then led to what many you know, to many things that the nfl does that we love with the nfl whether it be the the on-field camera work mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, a lot of the other you know entertainment elements that the NFL has brought in. The XFL really, uh, as Vince McMahon always does with anything he touches, he he had some innovation. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my favorite team, the New York, New Jersey Hitmen. Of, of course, they. You would. Of course I hated the NYNGA. Were, I love and, the Orlando. And of Rage. course, they were the worst team in the whole league. Who was your? Well, I think my favorite was the Los Angeles or the uh, Las Vegas Outlaws. I actually had true story five XFL jerseys. Uh, the Memphis Maniacs, the Birmingham wait, Bolts. you have the jerseys? Oh, absolutely do. I wear them whenever I play turkey ball. Wait, wasn't your, wait, wasn't your senior picture in high school with an XFL football? Yes, it was. Oh, my God. I, I have to bring it, it, and I'll bring that picture next week. <laughs> you love it. You love <laughs> it. Just, Who has I an XFL football in his senior I, picture I literally, aside from me? I literally didn't even think of that before we got on set, and it popped in my head. I was like, you have an XFL football. You know way too much about me, Justin. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Chair Shot Reality, WrestleZone.com, YouTube, iTunes. Plenty more coming up this weekend including the return of Brian Goulash, who is now 33 years old.